if you saw a previous video that I posted about these two batteries here, this video is a continuation of that. Um, and if you haven't, I will post a link to it up here so that you can go back and review it. I'm just starting my fourth year of full timing and over the course of you know that entire time I have continuously refined my power system and so what I've got here is my um, the engine battery and the factory installed house battery that are normally up at the front of the coach whenever I'm parked for more than a week or two at a time then I remove those and I bring them back here and I add them to my solar power bank, my solar battery bank, which is back here at the very back of the coach. As a refinement to that, let's bring this in here and show you. What I did is I got just an ordinary, uh, I set up ordinary household outlets um, back here, you know, two, two sets of outlets with a junction box and a cover. And now, you can see I, I spray painted this lime green and um, ignore the fact that one set of outlets is mounted upside down compared to the other. So let me see if I can move this battery out of the way for better view. There, slightly. Um, that The fact that one is upside down relative to the other was really for my own convenience for wiring on the inside of the junction box because I tied these two together and then um, I ran wiring from them to the bus bars on the rack that holds all of my solar charge controllers. And so these outlets then are tied into the solar charge controller bus bars which are tied to the battery bank. So now what I can do, and let me just pull one of these so I also made these dongles here that are tied to the, the batteries and these are permanently, well, I keep them mounted to the batteries all the time. They're not, I, they're not permanently mounted like in the sense that they can't be removed, but I leave them on all the time. And so in doing that, a couple of things. One, these two prongs, this prong here has nothing. There's nothing to it. These two prongs are live because they're connected to the battery up here. Um, so one of the things that I did when the battery is up at the front in the engine compartment, I got this little guy here. This is uh, one of those adapters that uh, adapts a three prong plug to a two prong outlet and then it has a little uh, tab sticking off here. I bought several of these for like 97 cents each. And then I took an angle grinder and I cut off the, the tabs and then I put silicone over the top to insulate it so there's no metal exposed. So this becomes functionally just a cap that I can put onto this plug and cap it to um, shield these from shorting out. A little better with this one here. Um, you can see like that because the silicone is clear and I didn't paint over this one. Um, the tabs that normally would be sticking out the back of here, I just shaved off and then I siliconed over them so that they're not exposed and they're not conductive. But the, the upshot is that I can now take this and just plug it in and now it is quickly and easily connected to my battery bank. I'm trying to do this while holding the camera at the same time and it's not working. Ugh. There. There. So um, the lime green paint and the Sharpie is to clearly indicate to anybody who's not familiar with my setup that this is not a normal household outlet, that it is in fact a 12 volt DC outlet. Um, and it's really more of an inlet. Technically, I could plug something in there and power it um, if I had a 12 volt. Uh, appliance that I wanted to plug in but that's not what it's for it's really for connecting these batteries and for um, connecting you know other external components like a generator some things like that and those connect right to the battery bank now if you know anything about wiring batteries for a solar power bank then you will know correctly that um, 
these are now they're an offshoot they're like all of the the batteries are wired together positive negative positive negative into one giant bank and then these guys are just attached onto it so they're not really wired the same way that the rest of the bank is and that's true but I've been using this system for about six months now. I've been monitoring it. I've been testing it. It works just fine. It's not optimal, but I'm not going for optimal. I'm going for keeping these batteries healthy and putting them to good use when I'm otherwise parked and they're not really going to be doing anything else anyway. It gives me extra power when I'm stationary and it keeps the batteries charged up when I'm not running the engine for long periods of time. So that's the whole purpose and it works a treat for what I'm trying to do with it.